Welcome back. It's DIY Tuesday here at Oil Life. We hope everyone had a great Mother's Day. If you joined us for last week's um, DIY Tuesday, we made these cute little pendant do-it-yourself diffuser necklaces. I haven't been able to take mine off, so if you've made yours, please let us know in the comments. Let us know what oil you were using and how it went. We love to hear from you all. So, really exciting news really quickly. Oil Life's second birthday is on the 18th. That's just a couple days from now, and we're going to be celebrating with a two-day special. It is a surprise, so I'm not going to give it away right now, but look for that. You're going to be really excited, and you won't want to miss it. We're so excited to celebrate Oil Life's birthday with you. So today, what we have for you is a really summer-themed picnic prep DIY. Some of us, like me, um, want to start grilling at this point of the season, but we have maybe some cleaning to do first on the grill. So we're going to make this really easy and natural for all of you. Just using a few ingredients, you're going to need half a cup of baking soda, two tablespoons of a natural dish detergent. We're using Puracy. It just looks like this, but really you can use any kind of natural detergent. And then a couple drops of lemon essential oil. We're going to use five for this particular recipe. So I'm just going to take the dish detergent and add it in to our bowl. And make sure that you set aside some white vinegar for later. We won't need it right this second, but for later. And then I'll take this baking soda. What's great about this particular recipe and about lots of recipes that we show you here on DIY Tuesdays is that it's very safe but still potent and powerful enough to be able to clean your grill up so you can get ready for summer picnics and grilling. So I've added the essential oils there, five drops. And you can see it's a pretty dry mixture at this point. And then I'm just going to take, you can take a stir stick or a fork or whatever works for you. I'm actually taking the tablespoon that I use to measure the dish soap because I like using the bottom to just be able to blend it all in. You'll see what I'm talking about as we start to mix. You're going to get kind of a thicker paste. And in order to get that thick paste, you kind of have to break up the baking soda. And so that's what I use the bottom of the tablespoon for. And I'm just going in circular motions around this bowl. Make sure you get a bowl that's big enough just because the powder likes to fly. And be patient in your mixing. It takes a little bit. Let us know as you're watching this, what essential oil do you use the most during the summertime? I think mine actually is Melaleuca for skin purposes, any kind of bug bites or things. Tea tree oil is another name. Let us know what yours is. We want to know, and maybe we'll do more DIY recipes using that particular oil. So mine is becoming a paste here. And once you've gotten it to this point, then you're going to want to take out your white vinegar. The pastier, the better. And then I'm going to take some of this vinegar. And this is a little bit of guesswork. There's not a measurement specific for this vinegar. But what you want to do is you want to add it a little bit at a time. And go pretty slow because you only want to add enough vinegar to get a consistency, a consistency that's kind of like an olive oil. So you don't want it to be too watery, but you don't want it to be too thick. So just go slow. And it might fizz for you a little bit. If it does, that's fine. Just wait for the foam to go down a little so that you can tell what the consistency is. Sometimes if you try um, to decide what the consistency is while it's still foaming, you'll add too much and it'll end up being watery. And again, you want it to be kind of like an olive oil consistency. So I just keep adding vinegar a little bit at a time. And see how it's foaming up like that? That's what you just need to be patient during. So when the foam goes down, you'll be able to tell exactly how watery it is and what the consistency actually is. It'll try to trick you. But that vinegar is great for the cleaning process. So I'm just going to keep stirring this one, but for the sake of showing you, we have one that's already prepared. So this is what it will look like at the end, and you can see the foam has gone down at this point, but it's the same process that I just showed you. So if you're just patient, the, it, the foam will subside a little bit, and you can continue to stir it until it's about this consistency. And I'll show you by pouring it in here what we mean by olive oily. It's just a little bit thicker than water, but it's not like molasses. And then once you have this mixture, you can go ahead and brush it onto the grill, leave it on the grill for about 15 minutes, and then take any kind of scrubber 
or a sponge and go ahead and, and scrub at the grill. And you'll have a really clean, clean grill ready for any kind of picnic or party that you want to throw or have. Um, another thing that we have for you is our favorite fruit salad recipe, which we've just barely discovered and we couldn't leave it out during this DIY. This is our sweet summer fruit salad. Zoom in on it a little bit. It's got a honey and lime dressing and all the colors that you can imagine. It's really easy to make and of course essential oil friendly. So you can go ahead and head over to our blog after this and we'll show you the recipe. Thank you so much for joining us for DIY Tuesday. We'll see you soon. Look out for this special for Oil Life's birthday on the 18th. Bye.